ورتل القرآن ترتيلا السلام عليكم In this lesson we will be covering Mad Lazim Kalami Muthaqqal Our learning objectives are Number one To know the four types of Mad Lazim Number two To be able to define Mad Lazim Kalami Muthaqqal Number three to know the conditions of mad lazim kalami muthaqqal. Number four, to be able to identify mad lazim kalami muthaqqal. And finally, to be able to apply mad lazim kalami muthaqqal. As we have covered previously, mad fari'i consists of two branches, mad due to a hamza and mad due to a sukun. Mad due to a hamza consists of three types of mad, Mad sula kubra, mad jaiz munfasil, and mad wajib muttasil. Mad due to a sukun consists of two types, temporary sukun and permanent sukun. The temporary sukun has two more, mad aridh sukun and mad lean, and the permanent sukun has mad lazim. There are two types of mad lazim, mad lazim kalimi and mad lazim halafi. Mad lazim kalimi also has mukhaffaf and muthakkal and the same for harafi it has mukhaffaf and muthakkal we will be focusing now on mad lazim kalami muthakkal so what is the definition of mad lazim kalami muthakkal it is a compulsory elongation lazim means compulsory kalami means word and muthakkal means heavy hence compulsory heavy elongation in one word what are the conditions number one it occurs when there is a shadda after a huruf mud letter in a word number two the word muthakkal refers to the shadda and number three we stretch the mud for six counts for example al وَصَّفَاتِ Now let's look at some examples from the Quran. سِرَاطَ الَّذِينَ أَنْعَمْتَ عَلَيْهِمْ غَيْرِ الْمَغْدُوبِ عَلَيْهِمْ وَلَا So we can see here the word dolin, there's a mud symbol followed by a shadda in the same word, hence mud lazim kalami muthaqqal. Let's practice a bit more. فَإِذَا جَاءَتِ السَّاخَ Again we can see from the word saha. There is an alif madda followed by a shadda in the same word, so we will stretch for six counts. فَإِذَا جَاءَتِ الطَّامَّةُ الْكُبْرَى So we can see on this word, tamma, that there is an alif madda followed by a shadda in the same word, hence,